got a 1952 Chevy pickup truck. This thing is a beauty. Mint condition. Okay, give you a tour of the truck. Look how beautiful that bed liner is with the wood. They did a really, really nice job on this truck. Actually, he turned it off on the app in his phone. We're going to talk about what alarm I did. I just want to go over the interior with you. Okay, really, really nice. So basically, yeah, we gave them the arm it. Disarm it. You want to unlock it. It's got panic here. So you got arm, disarm, and panic. And then flipping the door by accident to give you guys a tour. There it is. It's pretty fast. And you get the alert in very, very flipping fast. Two should be off, but if you get four, that means the alarm went off all your way. The minute you turn the key in ignition, it will reset back to two chirps. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and turn it off. Okay. Now when I arm the alarm, one beep is on. If I turn it off, two is off. But if he ever gets four beeps when he turns it off, that means the alarm was set while he's been away from the car. Because what happens with these alarms, if they do fire off, they'll ring for two and a half minutes and they'll reset. So if you're far away and it's raining and it's got thunder and stuff like that, it's not blowing up uh, all week while you're gone. So, uh, you just got to see the third one there, four thirteen. Yep. That's the latest one. So yeah, this, uh, this alarm, uh, this antique, and this 1952 Chevy pickup truck was installed here in Miami, Florida by AutoLine Specialist. Our numbers are 305-298-4814. And by the way, it does have a, a starter kill. So somebody, uh, when he uh, leaves the car somewhere at a car show or whatever, if, if he's far away from the truck, when he arms the unit, uh, they won't be able to start the truck. If somebody jumps in and they try to bust out that keyhole, uh, that ignition switch uh, that you know, do uh, the, the alarm, the alarm will not allow the starter to turn on.